Hello everyone, welcome back to all computer classes. Students, today we are going to start our 14th chapter that is again on MS Excel. This is the second part of um, MS Excel. In 13th part also we covered some topics of Excel and in this chapter we will be learning about formatting a worksheet and some charts, right? So formatting a worksheet is today's topic and we will cover formatting numbers and formatting text today right so let's move ahead formatting a worksheet why do we want to format our worksheet because it beautifies the data and make the worksheet more presentable right second overall your worksheet will look very nice presentable and readable right for example, you see this is a worksheet in front of you. So this worksheet is looking more presentable. Why? Because it is formatted, right? For now, I would like to explain you that if we want to format a worksheet, what are the options and how we can reach there? So we have mainly three ways to format our worksheet, right? Not completely the ways but the option so where these options are kept first is when you click home tab you see the font group alignment group numbers group so these groups helps us to format our worksheet right so one way is from the home tab right second way is by selecting the range of the cells then right click and in this drop down list you see here format cells so when you click you get this dialog box so here again we have number alignment font border all these options are available to format the worksheet right so second way was to select the worksheet or select the desired range of the cells and right click the third way is again select the range come here in the cells group and here you have a format button when you click here you get a drop down list and at the end of this list there is a format cells when you click on this you again get this format cells option right so we need to reach to this format cells option right so if you click on alignment this dialog box launcher so again you get the format cells if you click at the corner button of number if you click from here the dialog box launcher of numbers group again you get the format cells option right so we have various options to reach to the format cells option right the main purpose is to reach to the format cells option right so that you can reach by right clicking by clicking on the dialog box launcher from the alignment group font group and numbers group and from the cells group here we have a format button click here and reach here right so i hope you are clear with this right the first topic that we'll be learning is formatting numbers right so numbers in excel can be presented in different formats right in the form of currency date and many more things right then changing the format of numbers only modifies its appearance but not the actual cell value so the result of the performing calculation will remain same right when we format the numbers it will only modify the appearance right the actual value of numbers doesn't change so the result of the calculation will always be same so let me explain you this how we can do this right so we have this worksheet now you see we have here a range of the cell which is telling the cost right students keep it in mind that whenever you want to format in excel powerpoint or in any software you need to select the range of the cells or the sheet right so first step is to select the range of the cells right now in the cells group if we come here and click here we can open the format cell option right and otherwise also i have this numbers group from here i can perform the formatting on the numbers right so here if i click again i can open the number format box so i'll click here now you see the number tab is selected by default always you see the journal option now i come in the numbers right the second category is number now you see the decimal value is only one so if i want to increase the decimal value i can increase right if i do so i can increase the number of decimal values now you see 
now you see if I select here again and in the numbers group I select the currency so you see currency dollar sign is there and one more decimal value has been added right if I want to increase or decrease I can do so but the result is remaining the same if you can see that if I want to decrease it again the result will remain same right if I make it a number the currency sign will be removed right so from here I can make some changes from the numbers group right so I hope you are clear with formatting number right next topic is formatting text right so formatting text we will change the font changing font size bold italic underline changing cell alignment and text orientation right so let's learn practically how to format text now you see this is a worksheet in front of you now it is not looking good because the text is not formatted properly right not aligned properly so it is not that readable right so first of all we need to select the cells we select it now we will change the fonts so we have different fonts here so I'll change I'll choose the appropriate font right so I have changed the font now changing the font size so the next topic is changing the font size I want to make it at least 14 or let's make it 16 right next is making it bold italic and underlined if I want to make something bold italic or underlined so I can do that for example I just want to make the high headings bold right and um, let's say names italic right bold and italic underline is not required so you can learn merging also here so I'll select this cell and make it merge I'll select this cells right so merge merging has been done right now I'll make some cell alignment now you see some text have been aligned to the left some has been aligned to the right so it is not looking good let me select this cell these ranges of the cells and in the alignment group I'll click at the center alignment so the text is aligned center right but this alignment is not looking good so I'll make it left alignment right now let's increase the size of the cell right so this is how we can format the text now the next is text orientation text orientation orientation means changing the direction of the content now if you come here after selecting the cells you come here in the alignment group and here we have orientation right so it rotates the text to the diagonal angle and vertical angle so in which direction you want to write you can write right so this is the way you can rotate the text right so we learned about changing font size and bold delic underline changing cell alignment right so if you don't like it you can go here again in the alignments group and you can rotate this text direction from here also right so I just make it like this now if you want to bring it at the center go in the alignment group and click this button middle align so it is aligned at the middle so this much big cell is not required so we will decrease its size so now you see this the content is more presentable to us right now uh, we can add the borders to this right so just select the cells come in the form font group click on the borders if you want to remove the borders you can come again here and click on the drop down menu and here no borders so border is gone if you want to give it a thick border outside just come here in the font group and click here again and thick border outside so the thick border will appear outside if you want to give it a uh, all borders so click all borders right so yeah so now our text is looking presentable right now I'll bring it at the center you if you want to give it some color font color so you can 
give that right so I have covered some more topics here so this is the text formatting right so students I hope you are clear with the number formatting and the text formatting we will come we will cover some more topics in the upcoming videos for that subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss the updation and uh, see you in the next video till then take care and goodbye